Once again, we have a pump not going roundy round, but this one sucks a little extra. That's right, today I'm working on a vacuum lift station, and they're the worst. When it's small like this, we call it a doghouse, and the first rule of a doghouse, make sure the hinges are good. And they're not, so we're gonna have to be extra careful not to destroy this thing. It is made of ancient fiberglass after all, not very industrial. Anyway, here's how this works. You got two big pumps and two little vacuum pumps. The big pumps can't pull the poo up from the wet well, so the vacuum pumps use their sucking powers to pull the poo up into the big pump. Once it sees poo on that sensor, it stops sucking, closes the solenoid to hold the vacuum, and starts the big pump so the big pump can push the poo down the road, or probably up the road in this case, because what would be the point of having pumps if it was going downhill already? But anyway, that's just my crappy description. I'm not an engineer, don't listen to me. I'm just a dumb electrician, and I am here because pump one will not go roundy round. Pump two seems to be working just fine, so we have not completely lost power, but pump one will not work in hand or auto. Let's see if we have any power on our light. Nothing is pushing to test, so that's a problem. Well, there's no bulbs in that one, or that one, or that one. Let's see, four for four. Ah, oh, no, we got a bulb in number four. We're good to go. I'm gonna start with the basics. We got a breaker and a starter, so let's test some voltage. Now, as you watch me do this, you're probably gonna think, well, there's your problem. You're missing a phase. Well, that's not the case. This is a corner grounded delta, or center phase ground service. Of course, they didn't ground the center phase in this case, but basically they ground one phase, so you're not gonna have voltage on that phase to ground because it's grounded. So phase to phase, you're gonna have the same voltage as phase to neutral, except for that grounded phase. It's an old school way of doing things, old school industrial service. We still have these in 240 and 480, so you gotta be careful, because they can be a little spicy if you don't understand them. Anyway, power was good, control voltage was good, so I started looking at the overloads, and look at that. Our center phase was tripped. I reset it, so let's give it a shot. Pump sounds a little rocky, but it's running. I did test current and it was right at nameplate amps. So everything seems okay. We'll check out these contacts just to be safe. Contacts don't look amazing, but I've certainly seen worse, including the ones someone left in the bottom of the cabinet. Clearly there is a history of contacts going bad here, so that will need further investigation. But for now, I'm just gonna order some new ones just in case these burn up as well. I know, I didn't find the exact issue that caused this, and it was very unsatisfying, but those contacts could last five days or five years. That's just how it goes sometimes. See you on the next one.